check your Bible, every time there was an encounter in the book of Acts, every time, with exception of no time, it either came 12 in the night, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 6 o'clock in the evening, 9 o'clock in the evening. Check your Bible, the book of Acts. I speak authoritatively. Every time an angel appeared, every time something sovereign happened, every time the cloven tongues of fire came upon men, go and check the window, the time window. So when you have that broken piece, follow that circuitry. Is it that you will knock it off? Or you will see what you are fighting? I want you to, say, I want you to know that God designed you to depend on those spiritual senses. As the Spirit of God comes to be here, oh my, you are not here. Okay, let me add one scripture before I proceed. He is in secret. And what? He sees in secret. Because he sees in secret. If me and you have a, have a quarrel, I will apologize to you. Whether I'm wrong or not. The reason is because I want to keep my connection. Conflict resolution between me and my wife is very easy. If she's wrong, she's right. If I'm right, she's right. It's very easy. Because I have something greater than my relationship with her to secure. If, if, if I lose alignment on that tarmac, I become vulnerable. So I can die. I can be in an accident without knowing. No sign. Because I'm disaligned. You don't play with your heart. It is the airport. You don't play with it. Say, keep it with all diligence. I kept your brain in your skull. I kept your vertebra, your, your, your spinal cord in your vertebra column. I kept your, your lungs in the ribcage. I kept your heart in the ribcage. But you keep your heart. I built no barricade for that. You will keep it with all diligence. For out of it, I what? So when I began to accept fault, whether she's right or wrong, I accept fault. She discovered that she was not growing. That I was the only one growing. So she now came and said she wants to. I said, ah, you want to grow? Ah, I didn't know. Ah, I thought you liked receiving uh, sorry, sorry. Go, continue receiving sorry. Yes, I'm relating with you like this because of the prosperity I have in my own relationship with God. That's why you are receiving this from me. This is not how I am. This is Christ flowing through my vessel. You are drinking and you are, your flesh is there, being enlarged. Remain there. She now wanted to grow. She came for lecture and I told her my secret. This is how I operate. If you operate like this, you'll be able to pick, you'll be able to see God. Sometimes he will allow you to see him. His shape. So the, the crisis factor of my family life is on zero, zero points. <laughs> if you slap me, I will go. I will slap you back. But by the next time you see me, I would have grown. You went with, you, you won that day. Say, I slapped him. Mm. But God used that one to translate to value. Him that is in secret, that what? That sees in secret. You can win before men. That's the way of the hypocrite. Say yes. In the meeting, I was the one I took, I took over. Ah, you took over? You will be dry. Your drought, the days of your drought have been extended. May not pray and know what it means to be in the good books of heaven. Because our God sees wow in secret. So, the knowing of revelation, that is the first spiritual sense. And 60% of God's communication feedback systems is built on that infrastructure. Paul was telling us in the book of uh, Second Timothy how he was able to survive persecution. 
There was no time that he was persecuted, flogged, afflicted, that he, he got broken. No time. He says, it is because I know him whom I believed. And I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that which I've committed unto him as against that day. That means there is no negative outcome that can come out of the torture. And his insulation is that he, he knows. So the question I need to ask you is, what do you know? We will know what you know when you are under pressure. If you need to snap and explain yourself, you, don't, you are not deep. You are shallow. You can't take shame. You can't take pressure. You need to answer. Ah, you have not started business. When you start business, you will now know that man is small. Anything man can do is small. You wait on the Lord. Because nothing moves in heaven except he speaks. People lied against me in the office and people say, Ha! Ah, go and explain. For four years I said not. After four years, on a solemn day, God, everything was exposed. And that's how my promotions were given to me. After many years, it was backdated. And the money that was supposed to accrue to me was accumulated and paid. The federal government saved money for me. That's how I built my house. I will not fight with you. No. He's so big that he, he, he has obscured you. The way you react will know if it is true that you have the knowing. You know. I know. I know whom I believed. That was his answer to the fact that the Roman scourge had no effect on his back. It didn't affect his conviction. It was deeper than where the scourge could touch. And he said, I know. I know whom I believed. And I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that which I've committed unto him as against what? That day. It is still by the knowing of revelation that we travel beyond this life in death. It is by that knowing that becomes our guideline, our navigation. 